Hi, hello everybody. Thank you, Teresa, for your kind presentation. Well, this is a really a great pleasure for Fundación Atrian, for me, of course, to be on board of Cybernet and offer this meeting, offer the possibilities to talk about the, our model of the unit in, um, in our center in Barcelona. Um, uh, here. Okay. M my talk, my talk is focused in three topics, in four topics. And the first one is like very, 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 very fast one scope in order the, how is the number of the neurodegenerative disease or Alzheimer disease is growing. And for us, the most important thing is how it's growing in the Mediterranean River, because the Mediterranean River is unknown for the scientific goal. The, the scientific goal always is thinking in the, in the US, Canada, or in the North, but the uh, the Mediterranean River is growing with not control and no resources, like as you can see here in Egypt and Turkey, and even though in the big countries like Portugal, like Spain, like Italy and Greece. And that is a big problem because these people, these people can't to do a good diagnosis in the Alzheimer's disease, but they have not research. And that is one of the, our responsibilities, like uh, uh, neighborhoods, to help this other river to the Mediterranean. Another thing that is important for the researchers is how invest, how is the cost of neurodegenerative disease, of Alzheimer's disease, in contrast with the other neurological disease, and th that is one that it's a paper for economic burden from neurological disease that it's calculated about billions that it's the cause of neuro, the neurological disease in the US. As you can see, Parkinson's disease is represent 15, multiple sclerosis 25, stroke 110, but Alzheimer's disease reached nearly 250 million in the annual cost. Another, another if you, you are comfortable with this data, and this data is about uh, 2011, is how we invest the UK in research, a peanut. Really, the cost, the social cost, the real cost of Alzheimer's disease is greater than stroke, greater than more than heart disease, more than cancer, but the investment in research in dementia is nothing. What to do about this one? And my last, in order to, to understand that you can understand the, the philosophy of Fundación Ace is the, how is the sex rate in the drugs development. The funnel for Alzheimer's disease is enormous, but the result is 0.5 in the good results. If you compare with um, hepatitis, MARSA, or at the end, with a cancer for red light, it's rich 20%. With this scenario, how to do, how need the citizens, how did our, our centers to build research, to build a good diagnosis, and to offer the best for our patients with Alzheimer's disease. I, I want to talk about some facts and features from Fundación ACE a little part of our history. Fundación Aci is a special center for the, in, in the public system because we are a private institution, non-profit institution, but we are working with and for the public health system in Catalonia. And we are the same as the public health center from primary care or Hospital Clinic de Barcelona, Hospital San Pau, or Mutua de Terrassa, because we are involved, we are on board the public health system. That is the vision, the mission, and the values. I believe that the most important for us for a long time is the values, because quality and rigor is the most important for our professionals and for our citizens, and to work with a team and to offer a global and interdisciplinary um, diagnosis, but working in this kind for the clinician and to get the diagnosis offer us the possibility to understand what, what means translational research from the clinic, from the clinic, from the persons to the lab, 
from the persons to the lab. And that we are working in this, in this philosophy on following this track for a long, long time. And that is the chronology. The first time we build and we, and we prepare one daycare center for late Alzheimer's disease, and the name of Fundación ACE, it's a start here, because the name of the center is Alzheimer Centre Educational. We consider that people with Alzheimer can to, can to learn and we can teach and improve the quality of life of these people, that is ACE, and we have Fundación ACE for this, this name. Another in 96, we build an, 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 uh, an, we build one memory clinic because we have possibilities with the professionals and to be insert and to be involved in the public health system. In 96, we start to work with a clinical trial, with the first clinical trial. In Spain, it was not so much um, present in the clinical trials in neurodegenerative disease because we have not a, a big, uh, um, excellent centers for Alzheimer's disease for the big, big industry. But in 1996, we built one little unit from the clinical trials unit. In, in uh, 2006, we moved uh, to offer our citizens another daycare center for early onset patients, the average age is nearly 50. More of them are frontal dementia, because frontal dementia is very difficult to find an institution to, for the full day to offer the quality, the quality support and help for them and the families. Budget research is built and grow in 2012, and my thanks to Agustin, because because Agustin was the, our research director, and when he uh, be in board with us, uh, this, this unit is growing. Muchas gracias, Agustin, eh, por haberte atrevido a venir a Barcelona. Thank you very much. And uh, we move our unit to another center, Barcelona Alzheimer's Center and Research Center. And in 2012, and, uh, we are associated with the Universal uh, Universitat Internacional de Catalunya, and of course, in 19, we are a member of the Cybernet. Thank you for the, the person who considered that we can to participate and collaborate with this exclusive and elitist scientific club. What is the areas of our activity? Diagnosis, we are very strong in the, uh, in in diagnosis, and I show some data about this one with a multidisciplinary uh, team. Maybe for me as a clinician, I consider that the, the crown of the, the, the pearl of the crown in our institution is to be include uh, social work for to support the families and the patients around the, all the scope of the disease. The daycare centers, as you can see, and I was talking about, and research. And research for us is applied research for clinical trials, and basic research is led by Agustin, clinical research with two teams, the team he's working in neuropsychology and the team he's working in, uh, in, uh, in clinicians, with uh, two persons he's lead the, the, these two programs, Sergi Valero and Marta Marquis, and social, legal, and juridic research is led by Pilar Cañabate, he's our social worker and anthropologist. And education, most of you know the Barcelona Pitch for Conference every two years, but the, the important for us is the community uh, awareness in order to work with the emerging topics in, in the area of Alzheimer's disease. One of them is patients and poverty, to, to involve the patients and the families in the diagnostics and to take decisions, and the other is women. I am participating in the, I am a member of the, the group of European Alzheimer's Women's Health, who promote how is the role of the women, like the scientific, like the medical doctors, or like the patients in Alzheimer's disease. All of that is in this paper, and this paper is, is made and written by James Becker, and James Becker is from the University of Pittsburgh, and is part of their Fulbright grant that is to spend six months with us, and uh, that is the results of 
this grant in order to describe the design of the comprehensive Alzheimer's disease clinical and research center in Spain. That is the numbers, numbers that, that is our activity. Our activity from 2015-18, as you can see, we are on average about the 2,000, nearly 2,000 new referrals from the, from the GPs, his referred these patients or these persons, these subjects, because we have a 12% of healthy cognitive persons, subjects, 12% from uh, this year, and 42% uh, my cognitive impairment share with uh, agnostic my cognitive impairment or non agnostic my cognitive impairment, and the 45 it's patients with dementia, and uh, we reach more or less 2,000. We follow 540, 84 patients, and the total of our activity is around uh, 7,400. But, but the total interventions, because our diagnosis is it's, it's built with four interventions, one with a social worker with a family, second one for our clinicians only with a family, the third is a normal and formal neuropsychology intervention with our professionals, fourth and the, not the last, but is the, the finish, the, the, um, the the diagnosis program is with neuropsychology, and we return our thoughts, our proposals, our guides to the uh, guides for to manage these patients in the the five and the less intervention, and we prepare the follow-up of this patient. That is our numbers. And how is the research strengths? At the first, I was talking with you about the, we are working in clinical, but the most important for us is how to move for the research using the, tra the, the, uh, trans the translation research from the clinic to the research. And one, one of the most important things, and if you remember, we are create a little, a little, a little unit of um, clinical trials. Our research is in clinical trials. Clinical trials, we are involved on board more than 13, 13 persons. He's uh, full-time devoted in clinical trials, and five persons he's working uh, part-time. At that moment, at the moment, we are managed 26, 26 uh, clinical trials, more or less, it's supposed to, to control 240 patients in um, his involved in this kind of research. And in a total in these eight years, we are working with six, six clinical trials. Clinical trials is a, a good experience for the clinicians because, because we are training in rigor methodology, follow up to be very conscious and to understand that we never, never forward one data. And uh, that supports not only this kind of learning, this offers us the possibility to belong to the academic, academic centers and academic, and academic articles. And in 2018, we are published four papers linked to, related to clinical trials with one uh, impact factor nearly 93. And that is the research we are working in the research and that it's found. Found for European, uh, European uh, founds, like Adapted, he's the coordinator, is for uh, Augustin Luiz, it's based on the functional uh, aspect of the APOE, moving from the, risk, the genetic risk. Another is MOPIET, patient's engagement, is focusing clinician and to ask uh, and to capture hiding patients to be involved in the clinical trial and research. Pretty cool for us is ethic and juridics. Rancic is a robotic, social robotics. And we have one uh, um, individual fellowship, Madame Curie, Marie Curie. I always talking about the Madame Curie, I'm sorry. Uh, he's working in the OCT, Euronet, is a part to link and establish synergies with different uh, IMI uh, projects, and we are involved in IPAD and AMIPAD. Uh, US, US funds 
is in, uh, we are working for a long time in one Roy in uh, Alzheimer and psychosis with the University of Pittsburgh. We have some funds from uh, um, Instituto Carlos III, like Bioface, and this year we have two, another, another fund is led by Marta Marquis, and we participate in collateral coordination with another two funds, and collaborations and own funds is Grace Project, he's the genomic, the genomic um, project is led completely by Agustin Ruiz. FACEBI is a project with asymptomatic people, and we, uh, we are in the beginning, on the five years of follow-up of this healthy control with an extended neuropsychological battery and the PEP, beta PEP, from, uh, to control the change in the brain and change in the, in the in, to, to, to converse from the healthy people to the my cognitive impairment on Alzheimer's disease. Fathe Sal is one uh, new study in saliva and microbiome with uh, Ilse Kasha, with uh, our friends. Um, he's working with AIDS. That is really the results for you. That is the result of our scientific activity or research scientific. In this year, we are published 32 papers with an average of impact factor nine. It's not much, it's not less, but for us it's fantastic, it's good. It's our reality and the, the, the impact factor for this year is 280, 200, 288. What is the most important for Fundación ACE? What is that we are working and we are preparing from all these years? collaborate, participate, establish synergies, open mind, open access. All that is cooking in Fundación ACE is offered to you. Because when you are working alone, it was impossible to grow. The, it's the, the most important for our community is to establish bridge, establish synergies, collaboration, and use all the data for the scientific community. That is our really our DNA. Eh? It's cooperate, participate, and open, open mind. What is our rela relations with cybernet, relations with the cybernet and beyond this moment, and beyond this moment? And we prepare this presentation uh, using the requirements that cybernet as us for evaluate if you can to be a member of a cybernet club, and we can to be on board. And we prepared this presentation about the items and cybernet asking us for to be a member. First one, eh, first one proposal is ACE could be an open, a repository to open other researches. And for that, we are involved in values in biological samples acquisition, that is, the effort and the task from Agustin Ruiz. We have a biological collection. The most important is that we are moving, and for you, we have 16 uh, specimens. And, and the important thing is we can the possibility to collect 100 DNA every year and, seven, and, and finish two minutes, and, um, and plasma, and uh, Harriet Plasma, CSF, and Serum. About bring the scientific community fresh ideas and targets, like is to work with the HESCO and to produce and to produce knowledge and to produce papers and to and to offer to the community the new discoveries in genes, like you can see here, that is the last paper uh, about Grace. Bioinformatics and resource, we, we can offer you the conduct to integrative analysis, including different disciplines like biology, statistics, and bioinformatics. And talking with the, the clinicians, talking with the memory units from, the, from Spain in order to learn and teach about MOPIET project and to explore the newest scenarios 
for hiding patients and to improve the quality, the rigor of the clinical trials like MOPED project, at the MOPED project. At, at the end, to boost the research and effective drugs for neurodegenerative disease. It's important for the groups in research that thinking about the reprofile products because you know about the new, the new possibilities to use the, uh, the drugs that is used for another, for another, for another disease to use it for neurodegenerative like Alzheimer's disease. That improves the research, that decrease the risk, that offer us all of us the possibilities to design and to ask and explore a new, a new, um, a new drugs with a less cost. And I am finished. I am finished with um, thank you for all my team. Thank you to Augustine for improve our knowledge in research because um, we are starting as a clinician. And if you want to use the YouTube, that is our homage for the. The, the day, International Day to the Alzheimer's Disease, for the patients, families, and of course, for the professionals that is working very hard in this very hard discipline, dementia. Thank you very much. En principi, eren només petits oblits. Després van començar els problemes d'orientació. Fins que un dia va ser incapaç de tornar a casa sola. Llavors la mare va insistir perquè anessis al metge. Van fer proves i ens van dir que tenies el Seymour. Vas començar en el centre de dia i ha fet allà és de memòria. Però, tot i així, et va seguir obrint de coses, de la recepta dels millors canalons del món, de la Nina, de les teves filles, del teu gran amor. I, finalment, de tu. però nosaltres no t'hem oblidat.